A new colony has arrived, but disaster looms. A dying queen, or is she? And imposters in the nest. I truly believe this is one of the most beautiful ants in the world. The golden-tailed bull ant, or Myrmesia piliventris. This is quite a fascinating bull ant and a very active colony, so let's dive in and have a closer look at these spectacular ladies. Okay, so they came to me like this, all plugged up. And the nest needs a little bit of TLC. However, I don't have much time on day one, so my very first job, until I get more time, is to give them some sugar water on some cotton to give them those carbohydrates they are likely craving. The workers seem to appreciate the effort as they take turns drinking at the cotton. This Waitong nest has some nice hydration areas, so I also soak them before leaving them still plugged up for the night. So day two, and the first thing I need to do is to give these ladies an outworld so I can feed them and they can try and clean out their nest a bit. The first workers start to explore quite tentatively, and I really notice with these golden tails how much more placid they are compared to the giant bull ants like these that are constantly threatening to rip my head off just for looking at them the wrong way. So as there is a great fuss within the nest, I decide to give the colony some protein. However, these large crickets, which are the only ones I had, end up being way too big for this species. The golden tails just ignore the cricket, even when the cricket threatens to make its way into the nest. So I decide to let the cricket go and opt for some more reliable protein. Chopped up live mealworms, which appears to be well received. So now they are finally fed and settled. It's time to take a closer look at the nest. These ladies have a fantastic golden tail that almost shimmers. So it's easy to watch them all day, but before I can even look for the queen. I spot my first surprise in the nest. Imposters. And not just one, but at least two. These are drones, of course. Drone ants are the males of the colony and their only job is to mate with queens. They fly out during mating season and after mating, they die. Their purpose fulfilled. So how can we tell it's a drone? Well, four obvious things. Number one, the wings. Uh, only drones and elates, which are unmated queens, have wings. Number two, the antennae. This is a massive giveaway. See how they're straight? Compared to the bent antennae of the worker. Number three, the eyes. The drone's eyes are bigger than the worker out of necessity for flying. And lastly, the mandibles, which are almost non-existent on a drone. Very quickly, these drones are driven outside the nest by the other workers, the entrance guarded from re-entry, and they sit uselessly in the outworld waiting for me to let them go. So where is the queen? And as I search for her, I stumble across my next unwanted surprise. I spot the queen. And is she sick? It seems she can barely walk. There's workers caring for her, trying to clean this sticky gunk off her. This could be a disaster. She makes her way to the outworld and I watch with concern as she stumbles around. It's then I see with relief the real queen patrolling the nest. She is regal and in perfect health and seems unconcerned at the drama occurring in the outworld. So this sick one must be an elate, which is an unmated queen. And this one never got the chance to leave the nest. And this gunky mess on her thorax is where her wings would have come through so that may have something to do with her condition. If anyone in the comments can let me know what they think, 
that would be appreciated. Okay, so what is happening in the colony now that the outworld is connected and they are settled? Pupae are moved. Cocoons are carefully cared for. Larvae are separated. Preening commences. But the biggest activity seems to be removing waste. Cotton and cocoon casings are dragged out of the nest. And then there are frantic efforts to reorganise sand. While some workers fix the sand inside the nest, others move it quickly to the outworld. I leave them for a couple of days to settle. And when I look again, tunnels have already been built in the outworld. And another stray drone has been kicked out from the nest. But this time, the workers have killed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more ant keeping adventures and tips. Until next time, happy ant keeping. <laughs>